Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in my last video I promised to make a video about my keychain, so here it is. Uh, I just thought this would be cool if you were thinking of taking engineering at school or whatever, you might be doing something like this. But before I start my video, i like to say two things. First of all, thank you for all my subscribers um, for sticking around because I haven't done a really exciting how-to video or something that I think you guys might like recently. Um, I've just been making videos just to keep you guys entertained and updated. Um, but I do have a few plans, so please hold in there. And I appreciate you guys sticking around and not unsubscribing. And secondly, my contest that I recently had for 15,000 subscribers is now over, since I have 15,000 subscribers. And I will be releasing the results to that video, including the winner and the prize, which I think I've decided. Um, sometime this weekend, so make sure to watch that, because you could be the winner, obviously. And so, now, I will show you a quick video on my little keychain thing, and hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so here's the keychain, and basically it's made from two pieces of aluminum, as you can see, one's silver and one's black. You got your key ring, of course. And the purpose of building this um, was basically just so they could show us how to use different types of fasteners and screws and how to fabricate different metals. Um, so basically, it's held together using these three screws, which I'll explain in a little bit. And it can be taken apart using Allen keys, which I'll do right now and show you how we made it. Now that I've disassembled the keychain, you can clearly see the three pieces. So we started off with these two pieces, I'll show you on this one. Um, as just straight holes and what we had to do was um, tap the holes by hand and basically what that does is cross threads the hole so that your screws can be screwed into them because before they were just um, smooth surfaces which obviously the screws could not grip. And the next part um, to hold these two pieces together we have three different types of screws um, being a socket head screw, sorry it's blurry but it's just a square kind of tip with a socket thing on the inside. And we had a button head which as you can see kind of is rounded. And then we had a flat head which is flat and like a triangle shape down like this. And the goal was to make them flush with the surface except for the button head, it sticks out a little bit but that's what we were trying to do. And to do so, um, using the drill press and different drill bits, we had to countersink for the flat head one and counter bore for the socket head one. So for example, if I take the socket head screw and put it in, it sits flush because we drilled out, we counter bored a little thing there. And similarly, with the flat head one, if I put it in, it sits nicely in there and uh, then can be screwed into the bottom half to keep our keychain together and we also engraved our little name on there and so basically that was the project it took us around half an hour and the purpose of it again was just to teach us about different types of fabrication and a nice little introduction to the metalworking shop and so not the most exciting video, but I'm sure you guys learned something. And if you're thinking of taking engineering, um, these are the kind of projects you will be doing. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And stick around, We've got some more exciting videos coming up. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.